If you have a random cubic graph, so for example like this, and you are asked to find a tangent, well a tangent, let's say for example over here, would look something like that. Now what's important to know is that it's a tangent, so it's a straight line, so its general formula is y equals to mx plus c. If you have to zoom into this section over here, the gradient of the graph will be the same as the gradient of the tangent. That is the important thing to know. Gradient of graph is equal to gradient of tangent at that point of contact. Now we know that to find the gradient of a, of a point on this curve we use calculus. We use the first derivative. So we're going to take the first derivative of the expression and that's just going to give us 3x squared. Now, we know that the x value is 2, so we can fill that in. And if you do that, you're going to end up with 12. So that means that the gradient of this graph, this one over here, at the point where x is 2, is 12. But that's also where the tangent is touching the graph, and so the tangent is going to have a gradient of 12. So we can then say y equals to 12x plus c. Now how do we normally find c? Well we substitute a point in. A point that we do have is this one, but we only have its x value. So what we do is we plug that x value into here to find the y value at that point. And so that would give us 2 to the power of 3 plus 1, which is going to give us 9. And so the y value there is 9. Now that point is also on the tangent, so we can use it in the tangent equation. So we can say 9 is equal to 12 times 2 plus c. So 9 is equal to 24 plus c. If you worked that out, c would be negative 15. And so the equation of the tangent will be y equals to 12x minus 15.